here's one lonely dot. It's surrounded by eight neighbouring cells, all of which are empty. It's got no neighbours. Its number of neighbours is zero. By the rules of the game, when the next generation clock ticks, this lonely dot will die. Here's the mark of death. You've just witnessed the death of a dot. So let's look at a new arrangement or configuration of dots. Here's two dots in adjacent cells. Looking at the left-hand dot, you can see that only one of its eight neighbouring cells is full, so it has one neighbour. Its number of neighbours is one. Similarly for the dot on the right, its number of neighbours is also one. Now by the rules of the game, if a dot has only one neighbour, then on the ticking of the next generation clock, it will die. So both dots have the mark of death on them. Again, you've witnessed the death this time of two dots. All very sad. Here's another configuration. Three dots in a row. Now, as before, the two end dots have only one neighbour. There's the one on the left with one neighbour. And there's the one on the right with only one neighbour. But what about the dot in the middle? Well, it has two neighbours. Now, as before, the ones on the end will die having only one neighbour. There's the mark of death. And the one in the middle, according, according to the rules of the game, it'll survive because it has two neighbours. Now, something else is also going on here. The rules state that if there's an empty cell, fortunate enough to have exactly three neighbours, then a birth of a new dot will occur in that cell when the next generation clock ticks. Can you see any cells that have exactly three neighbours? Well, there's one just above the middle dot. A new dot will appear there when the clock ticks. Are there any others? Well, by symmetry, I think you'll be able to see that there's another empty cell with exactly three neighbours. And it's just below the middle dot. So another birth is to be expected there. So, let's bring on the generation clock and watch this configuration evolve. Another row of three dots, vertically placed this time. Now we can continue with this new generation and watch what happens as this arrangement involves. Can you see what will happen? Well, as before, the two end dots, they'll die of loneliness, having each only one neighbour, and the lucky middle dot will again survive, having exactly two neighbours. These are the rules of the game. And also, as before, two births will take place. One on either side of the middle dot. So let's once again bring in the next generation clock to watch the fun. So now we're back to the original configuration. Let's watch as the generations Proceed. This is an example of a configuration whose life history repeats itself, in this case with a period of two generations. It's called a blinker. At this stage, let's summarise the full set of rules for the game of life. Firstly, for existing dots, as we've just seen, if they have zero 
are one neighbours and when the clock ticks they die of loneliness. Dots with two or three neighbours survive. However, dots with four or more, they die from overcrowding. We haven't seen that yet. And also remember, a birth will take place in any empty cell that has exactly three neighbours. And that's it. That's all the rules. So in summary, two or three neighbours, a dot survives. Empty cell with exactly three neighbours gives birth to a new dot. So, now that you know the full set of rules, stop the video and see if you can find the next generation for four dots in a row. As before, the two end dots will die. We only have one neighbour each. The two central dots survive, each having two neighbours. Now, are there any births? Oh yes, there are. Can you see where? And the two cells above and the two cells below, a total of four births. So let's bring in the next generation clock and watch what happens. We now have a block of six dots. What happens now? So first, let's look for the ones that die. There's going to be two deaths. Each of these dots have five neighbours. There's the one on the left. You can see clearly it has five neighbours, a death by overcrowding. Each of the corner dots survives as they each have three neighbours. There's three neighbours for the bottom left dot. Just check it. Now, are there any births? Oh yes, there's going to be two, one on either side of the block. Each of these empty cells on either side of that block has exactly three neighbours. So again, let's blink, bring in the clock and watch the show. So... What happens now? What does, what's the next generation going to look like now? See if you can figure that out. Well, let's just bring in the clock and let it tick through the next few generations. Nothing happens. Each dot survives having two neighbours and there are no births. This configuration is an example of a still life. Now in preparation for part two of this introduction to the game of life, I'll leave you to ponder the wonderful evolution of this configuration of five dots. Can you figure out, in this case, why it's called a glider?